Well, we start with the court battles over New York's vaccine mandates. Big developments today, not just for city teachers, but some medical staffers as well. Our Richard Giacobis is following it all for us tonight and has the latest details. Richard. Dan, well, there's two parts to this. First, a sense of relief for New York State health care workers tonight after the state was temporarily blocked from firing them for not getting their shot if they cited religious beliefs. But for unvaccinated New York City teachers, they're taking their case to the highest court. When it comes to making the choice of getting vaccinated or losing her job, New York City high school English teacher Rachel Maniscalco says she'll take the latter, but not without a fight. I feel like relatively young, relatively healthy. Citing what she says are adverse side effects from the COVID-19 vaccine, Rachel, along with other New York City public school teachers, is leading a petition to block the city's vaccine mandate for school employees. Rachel claims it violates her due process and equal protection rights. After a federal appeals court allowed the mandate to stand earlier this week, Rachel and her colleagues decided to go straight to the U.S. Supreme Court. Rachel says it's their last hope. We are about to lose our jobs, our professions. I've been a teacher for almost 10 years because I don't want this, because I don't trust it. And that is just not acceptable. In a statement to Fox 5, the DOE says in part that, quote, plaintiffs have no valid claims and have stated no basis for the court's intervention. Courts have spoken. The only thing that could come out of it is whether there's going to be a stay or a freeze in the effectiveness of the law until they make an ultimate decision. Meanwhile, the vaccine mandate for some New York State health care workers is also on pause tonight. Thousands of health care workers will get to stay on the job unvaccinated for now after a judge issued a temporary injunction following a lawsuit that claimed the order violated employees' religious rights. The issue is whether you actually believe in it or if it's a baloney cover for a political position. Monday marked the start date for Governor Kathy Hochul's state medical worker vaccine mandate. Hundreds have so far lost their jobs. We're asking for more time. It's unrealistic that we're going to get thousands upon thousands of AIDS their first shot by, by the end of next week. As for Rachel, she doesn't plan to give up her fight. Teachers are ready to walk and they're ready to follow me. As for those state health care workers, the governor's office says the vaccine mandate is not suspended, but rather bars the health department from interfering with religious exemption claims. Meanwhile, unless the Supreme Court steps in, the deadline for Department of Education employees to get vaccinated remains at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Dan. Richard, thank you very much. And we